Hello, Fran here, uh, and I'm going to be going through the remote learning for week 13. Uh, now, in the college calendar, this is the final week of term before the summer starts. However, we do need you to be checking your emails this week, especially as we will be sending out the summer work. Um, there'll be a video explaining it like I've been doing for remote learning. But again, just make sure you're checking your emails for that information. This week's work is very similar to last week's. As I said, um, coursework at this point should be seen as two essays. Last week, week 12, was looking at the first essay, and this week is looking at the second essay, uh, which is Press, Literature and Violence in relation to anti-Semitism in Germany. The lessons are formatted the same as last week, so we've tried to keep things consistent, tried to uh, keep things really clear for you. Um, so the first task is making notes on Alan's YouTube video, the first section of that video. And again, I've given you bullet points that you should use as subheadings to help you um, keep your notes really clear. Again, as with last week, your notes on Alan's video should be kept in your internet research sheet. You may want to use a new box for this research. Um, because whilst it is still Alan's YouTube channel, it is a different video. So these notes shouldn't be mixed in with the government notes from Alan's video. It should be a brand new box with the video link and the date you have been on and watched that video with your notes and following. Task two is to complete extra research. It's going to be done on the internet and you are going to research um, the following three things. The Hep Hep Riots that occur in 1819. You are going to pick one piece of literature from the pre-unification period um, and you are going to look at one piece of literature from the Kaiser period. Um, so please conduct more research on those three uh, different bullet points. So you're doing all bullet points, not just one. Again, your notes should be kept on the internet research sheet with a brand new box for every different website you use. There's no um, formal demand here in terms of how many websites you use to research each bullet point. But again, as I've said with, um, as I said last week, if you use three different websites, including Alan's video as one of your three, you are at a point where you can categorize your research as detailed as opposed to just basic. So you may want to consider that going forward. Lesson two again starts the same, Alan's YouTube video watching the Weimar section and again there are a list of bullet points to help you categorise your notes. The next task here is to look at one piece of literature in the Weimar period and then to look at either the murder of Rosa Luxemburg or the assassination of Wal uh, Walter Raffenau. Again this is going to be on the internet um, and so all of your notes need to be recorded in the internet research um, document you are using. The final lesson is about the Nazi period and again starts the same as always to keep it really consistent for you so that your notes aren't varying across the different time periods. Um, starting with Alan's video, You'll notice the list is a bit longer now for the Nazi period. Um, so using the internet research sheet, um, make notes on those bullet points. For the final part of this lesson, we are not going to be using the internet, but we are going to be using Alan's book. Um, most of you will probably have that book at home now if you've been into college. If you haven't, again, don't worry. If you are coming in um, this coming week, you'll get a copy of it. Uh, and I will be scanning in these pages so that if you have not been able to get into college, uh, that you will still have access to this information. So task two is to do further research on press and literature in the Nazi period. And then the final task, task three, is again to use Alan's book, but we're going to be completing more research on violence in the Nazi period. Um, these bullet points, you are going to cover all of them, please don't it's not a matter of just picking the ones you want to do. You need to cover all the bullet points to make sure that your notes are, are varied and substantial. That is the work for week three. Again, there are not necessarily lots of tasks, uh, but these tasks will take you quite a while. 
And what you need to remember is the more time that you invest now into this research and getting your notes in a very good place, it means you'll have less to do over the summer. Um, so don't cut corners at this point. It, it honestly will just come back to haunt you later down the line when your teacher goes, these notes aren't adequate, you need to go back and make them more detailed. Um, so that is week 13. It's the final week of term time remote learning. But again, please keep an eye out in your emails because this week you will be getting summer work to keep you occupied over the holidays. Um, have a lovely week, everyone. Uh, and again, as always, email your teacher if you need any help. Right. Thank you very much, Fran. Lots of exciting work for you all to do there. Again, it's really important uh, and a really important topic. There should be loads and loads of really good information for you on the uh, video I made on this aspect of the coursework. Again, use my book. Use the, do all the research that Fran is directing you to. You'll find loads and loads of really, really interesting stuff online. This is part of developing your skills as independent learners, your ability to go and find this information, your ability to build a set of notes uh, for a project. Right. Thank you very much for watching. A big thank you again to Fran. Please remember to like, to comment and to subscribe if you haven't done so already. See you all again soon.